Hello guys, welcome back to another Seki3 video. Today, I'll be teaching you how I really tune my Bubble Magus Curve 5. Okay, first of all, a protein skimmer is part of your mechanical filtration that basically extracts waste from the aquarium using bubbles. So, basically, the bubbles come from your tank sump all the way down there and then there'll be a air pump type thing which draws in air here when the bubbles are being generated they pick up little bits of waste that is in the aquarium which then rises up and pops at the top and falls into this collection cup which collects all the waste which then you take off and clean it out that's basically what a protein skimmer is and when you first buy a protein skimmer you have to tune it so Basically what tuning is, is when you first place it into your aquarium sump, it will probably start going a bit mad and crazy and start just um, overflowing all the time. That's normal, so just leave the cap off and let it overflow back into your sump because it's breaking in. The, the skimmer needs to get used to your salt water before it starts working effectively. Okay, so I took the lid off just to show you. Um, this is the adjuster, so if it's at minimum, you can see that the bubbles just overflow. If it's at maximum, the bubbles actually go down. So that's basically how you um, adjust it. You can see minimum and maximum, and that blue dot is pointing more closer to maximum. You've got the one, two, three in the middle, so you know where where your tank sweet spot is. Every tank is different. Um, I like to keep mine around two, two and a bit for dry skimming and about one for wet skimming. So let me teach you about wet and dry skimming, literally what I just said. So wet skimming is a type of skimming that your bubbles go all the way up the tube, you can see, and they pop right at the top not overflowing, not like that, so I might have to adjust it a bit more. But the bubbles pop right at the top. You can see that is wet skimming, it's overflow and overflowing a little bit. See, see, it takes a while to tune it and set it, but you're just gonna have to keep on moving it until you find that sweet spot where. You can see the bubbles are just popping right at the top. That's wet skimming. Wet skimming is recommended for tanks that have high nutrients because it takes out waste a lot faster. However, it's not that concentrated. It's It's got lots of just normal salt water in it as well. However, dry skimming is recommended for more stable tanks that have matured along. And dry skimming is basically the bubbles really start at the bottom of the tube so you can see that the bubbles are only you know coming up, coming up a little bit but not all the way at the top like wet skimming and then when dirty bubbles get attracted into these bubbles the bubbles will rise and then pop and then go down my, right now my tank actually has quite high nutrients because of dinoflagellates so I am dosing no pox however um, they recommend to really have your skimmer at wet skimming so let me now adjust it to wet skimming so you can see really the bubbles are popping right at the top that is basically wet skimming. However, I'm gonna let the bubbles overflow a little bit. Normally if the bubbles overflow and there's no, no waste in it, I'll normally just unplug this little thing here and it'll just let it all dribble back out into the tank. So there we go, that was a good sweet spot for wet skimming, just popping right at the top. So I'm gonna leave it like that. However, if you've got a more mature aquarium, you would dial it in so it's more further down, and that is dry skimming. Do bear in mind, you can't really see that well, 
but you do have to clean the skimmer 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 every now and then I haven't cleaned mine just yet but however next week I'm gonna clean it so I might do a video on that so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see really how to clean this type of skimmer and that is basically it skimming is really easy once you understand it it's really good to keep your aquarium clean from nutrients and waste skimmers are worth it skimmers are very worth it However, if it's a nano nano, like small, small aquarium, only has a couple of fish in, you can get away with not having a skimmer and just doing water changes regularly. However, for more bigger aquariums, skimmer is recommended. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see this. If you want to see something like this again in the future, because I probably will make a cleaning video, cleaning out skimmer even the wave maker probably but yeah see you guys happy reefing